how would each of you describe your art and your practice, uh, and in your case, your, your, your uh, curatorial work to somebody who is uh, curious but completely unfamiliar with it? I would say my work has always been performative in some way. I've done videos, I've done live performances, uh, I've even done objects that, you know, uh, take my body as part and parcel of the whole project. I like to do performances that kind of uh, bridge the gap between viewer and artist. I really like to have a connection with the public in a way that other disciplines don't match up. You know, performance has a really direct way of communicating uh, emotions and ideas and concepts. So I, I would say uh, it's very performance, even though I make photo and video, it's always based in performance somehow. One thing that my work is constantly investigating is uh, the nature of um, memorializing um, the ways in which uh, countries present themselves. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with the expos, um, you know, those universal exhibitions. And uh, I was always curious as to how a country represents itself on the world stage either through propaganda, either through, you know, nationalistic sentiment, whatever it is. And uh, so my earliest works, I guess, it sort of investigated the meaning of uh, monuments. And so I did a series, um, which is, you know, now in the vaults of the Ottawa Art Gallery, where I sort of integrated myself within uh, monuments in different cities around the world. As I traveled, I pursued this project and, um, and it's still ongoing, I suppose, but um, I wanted to see, um, you know, how, how peoples or nations are represented in various monuments. We were politically involved from a very young age and we're not afraid to step out even as curators to present exhibitions that have political content and we're not afraid of uh, any controversy that can come from those types of uh, projects because we really firmly believe in freedom of expression and there's lots of artists that are marginalized in the art world even now so we make an effort to kind of bring that work to the foreground. And we're really fortunate to be supported that way in the institutions we work for. Uh, you know, I can imagine working for a larger institution where um, there might be some holding back and in diving into the Israeli-Palestine conflict, for example, whereas, um, you know, we work for institutions that encourage us to dive right in. Um, so that's been really liberating for us because um, we're not the types to, um, you know, sort of hide our uh, political views. Uh, and also your views on art. You've both always been very outspoken uh, about art questions, issues, the art scene in Ottawa, uh, which likely upsets as many people as it pleases. Is the art scene in Ottawa too polite? Does it need more people to sp speak their minds? I actually think like Ottawa has that reputation, but just by working at Saw Gallery, the same as Jason and Ex Neo Set, and doing exhibitions, people are craving to see uh, shows with political content. They're just waiting. As soon as we make a project that's, uh, I'm trying to think of an example, like Bodies in Trouble, uh, which was looking at the, the human's plight to survive on the planet with photojournalistic work and performance art documentation. Uh, it was what I think 4,000 visitors came to see that show and you would never think that an exhibition with that kind of premise would excite the imagination of people in Ottawa and Gatineau, but they do. I would add to that that I was pretty disappointed when I first moved to Ottawa because I expected political conversations to be taking place everywhere. I thought this was a political town and, and people debated politics and that sort of thing. But I quickly realized that, you know, with so many people working for government and they're used to, you know, the change of guard uh, with each election, um, that, you, you know, I found myself often asking people, who do you vote for? And they, they would say that's like a private thing, like religion or something. So there was that initially when I moved here. But then, you know, as Stefan mentions, I think there 
people are all secretly uh, uh, wanting to uh, debate things in a deeper way. And I think we do that through art, but you know, some organizations are doing it through cinema or whatever it is. And um, and so I, th you know, I think we just have to keep pushing um, these sort of critical debates around art and culture. Uh, I think that actually makes people a little bit more open to uh, those discussions. Mm -hmm.